City taxpayers could be on the hook to pay more legal fees for HPD officers who were involved in a fatal shooting that occurred two years ago. The circumstances in this one, they're somewhat similar to the two fatal police shootings in April. Manola Morales reports. The shooting happened on Lani Kohana Avenue in Mililani back in February 2019. The driver of the truck, Kyle Thomas, was suspected of theft when HPD officers in plain clothes approached him. Susan Ballard, who was HPD's chief at the time, said Thomas ran two of the officers' vehicles, so they fired and killed him. The first officer who was holding on to the door of the suspect vehicle feared for the second officer's life and fired at the suspect. But the attorney for Thomas's family has filed a lawsuit against the officers in Ballard, saying the officers fired before the truck ran their vehicles. It's our understanding that the car only moved after they fired and the driver was hit, and then somehow the car moved. Sites is also representing the family of I Remember Sycap, the teenager fatally shot by officers in April. The officers fired at the car driven by Sycap, and at the time, HPD said they fired because their lives were in danger. But one officer has been charged with murder and two officers with attempted murder. Sites says the plainclothes officers in the Mililani shooting also did not identify themselves. That's an issue brought up in another lawsuit in the death of Lindani Miani in Nuwanu. At Wednesday's Honolulu Police Commission meeting, city attorneys recommended allowing legal counsel for Ballard and the officers in the Mililani shooting. The commission agreed with approving Ballard's request, but held off on approving the request for the three officers. I'd just like to see the complaint and, and just make sure I know what it says um, and then see what the, you know, and, and kind of make a decision from there. HPD says the three officers have returned to full duty. Sites points out that the similarities in police lawsuits are a troubling trend that could be very costly for city taxpayers. My hope is that because of these rash, this rash of cases, that uh, the city's for the, the the city's lawyers will recognize that there's a real problem here and will make some effort to try to settle these cases. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.